here first we have to go to place in the multisim to choose the components in place uh, in this whiteboard so here uh, first click on the place then components because we are uh, going to place the components in the whiteboard so we have to uh, choose uh, the place command uh, place uh, from the uh, above, uh, menu uh, and then go to components here you can choose the sources because we are uh, going to choose uh, 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 source dc source so so from dc power and then uh, click on ok place it over here and another uh, dc source we are uh, going to place here okay then go to basics okay here you will find the register some values are over here as per your requirement you can choose from here otherwise you can choose uh, any any uh, register from here you can double click on the uh, value and place it over here you can also choose uh, specific values or you can write over here also this is 20 ohms and this is 20 small uh, letter m means uh, 20 milli ohms okay and you can write here as 40 okay this is uh, uh, showing in horizontal direction so we have you have to click right click in your mouse uh, okay so uh, this is uh, okay uh, you have to place it over here uh, or you can uh, uh, press the key Control R from the keyboard to rotate it and I have placed over here okay from the source I uh, need uh, the ground also right okay then close uh, here I have already uh, placed all the components which I need and now you have to just uh, move the uh, mouse pointer on the end of the component and uh, click uh, left click in the in, in your mouse then again uh, to connect the wires you have to uh, click again on the uh, left click in your mouse it is showing the uh, red marking if, if you zoom it by scrolling from your mouse you'll be able to see that a uh, red uh, circle is showing that means uh, this uh, wire is going to be connected with r1 from v1 okay and again if the wire is connected between the two components then only it will the color will be red otherwise the black color is there and r1 to r2 r3 should be connected uh, with r1 and r2 both and from here to here okay for every simulation section you have to put ground separately otherwise the simulation will not run here now I need to change this voltage value as per my requirement that is why I just double click on the value and it will uh, pop up a window and there you can change here I am going to just double click on it then 10 ohms I want to put so just only you need to write 10 otherwise if it is 10 kilo ohms then you have to uh, write 10k and just click on ok like this we can change ok so my circuit is ready to simulate but uh, here I want to uh, place the multimeter uh, or voltmeter or in current meter you can say so I have to go to the from here you can uh, place the voltmeter 
and emitter. You can place the multimeter from here, okay? Like uh, here, I'm just placed as the voltmeter uh, is always uh, should uh, should be connected with in parallel. That is why I am putting it in parallel way, okay? Or else you can put the voltmeter also directly. To get the voltmeter and emitter, you have to go to place from their component, then go to indicators. Here you can see the voltmeter. And to place the emitter, now we have to connect it. I'm just going to uh, place this wire here, but uh, this wire is directly overlapping with uh, on R2. That is why you, uh, you can uh, just right, uh, left click uh, here and then uh, again uh, left click here. Click on the left click to place the wire in proper direction, in the proper path. These are the internal uh, resistance of emitter and uh, voltmeter. To place the emitter, it needs to be in series. That is why I am just placing these in this direction and you have to remove this section this section you can just uh, left click over here if you uh, place your mouse here the cross mark is showing so you can just click here to remove this section or you can also right click and select the section and you can right click uh, to delete that particular section now the emitter is uh, in series with uh, r3 and the voltmeters are in parallel with every um, resistors and this is also a multimeter we have to set this multimeter in voltage mode or uh, in voltmeter mode and emitter mode you can choose from here you can also choose uh, ac and ac or dc uh, mode of operation of this multimeter you can also cho choose the, this multimeter as ohm meter and uh, in frequency uh, also uh, in dB okay so here it is in by default in uh, voltage mode so it is okay now you have to you can also set the values also from here because this is also having the internal resistance of 10 mega ohms and uh, the voltage uh, voltmeter resistance internal resistance is also 10 mega ohms and setting up from here you can also change it as per the uh, situation now you have to just uh, to simulate this uh, circuit you have to uh, click on simulate from their run or else you can click f5 from your keyboard another way is to simulate uh, this circuit is uh, you can click on here see the voltage is uh, voltage in multimeter and the voltmeter both are uh, showing same but the direction is different uh, direction of, uh, of connection is different that is why it is showing in minus and uh, this is showing in plus and 
the current and voltages are voltages are showing in this circuit if you just stop if you want to change the values or anything in the circuit you have to first you have to stop the simulation then you can change so if i change the internal resistance of this multimeter uh, in by default it was in gigahertz if i change it and again if i run then also the uh, after five decimal points the values are changing that is why it is uh, showing uh, similar here but in, if you calculate it in uh, theoretically then you will find the difference this is a calculation section theoretical calculation section of the of this circuit so the result is uh, quite close to the uh, simulation one here the voltage across the r3 is showing as 11.429 and in theoretical section uh, it is coming as uh, 11.44 because of some decimal point uh, ignorance over here and the current uh, through the R3 register is coming as 0 0.286 and in the calculation section is also the same up to these three decimal points now uh, coming to the theoretical section this is uh, this experiment is done to verify the Kirchhoff's Kirchhoff's voltage current law and uh, voltage law. The objective is to perform the experiment and verify the Kirchhoff's current law and voltage law in this circuit. KCL or Kirchhoff's current law, or this is also the Kirchhoff's first law. States that the total current in closed circuit. The entering current at node is equal to the current leaving at the node or the algebraic sum of current and node in an electronic circuit is equal to zero. From this figure, you can see that in this node, the current is entering from A, B, C and D and from this, from the same node, the current is leaving through E and F so as per this first law A plus B plus C plus D equals to E plus F and in the, as for the second law uh, this states that the algebraic sum of voltage in a closed circuit is equal to 0 or the algebraic sum of the voltage at node is equal to 0 so here you can see that voltage source A is here And the potential is marked um, with plus and minus and b c d e f three um, resistance are over here resistance are resistors are over here and the potential uh, voltage drop across each resistor is uh, marked so a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f is equals to zero as per this second law Here the circuit which I used to simulate is drawn over here and the calculation section is also uh, placed over here. Results are also showing here with the data are collected or you can say the data are considered over here. This is the section and the after the experiment and the theoretical calculation we got this uh, result this is a measured value which uh, I collect uh, from the experiment uh, through simulation and this is the calculated uh, theoretical calculated value this is a simulation result and precautions are mentioned at the time of physical laboratory experiment use contact of wires and junction should be avoided 
proper range of instru instruments should be used to perform the experiment like uh, if you are going to measure suppose um, 100 volt so you have to choose the proper instrument first of all you have to uh, uh, take a voltmeter not other kind of uh, multimeters like uh, not other, other kind of meters like ammeter or ohmmeters secondly the potential uh, secondly the range of that particular instrument should be uh, more than the uh, uh, more than the uh, value which you are going to measure and third uh, third uh, point is the you have to perfectly choose the uh, you have to choose a proper instrument to measure the dc voltage you have to take a dc instrument and to uh, measure the ac quantity you have to uh, take a ac meter ac voltmeter and the third precaution is uh, gross error should be avoided at the time of experiment uh, measurement tolerance value of the component should be uh, considered and the conclusion is written here so we have done the experiment successfully in the simulation This is the first laboratory experiment which is used to perform in the electrical circuit and network laboratory. Okay, thank you.